Hey friends, Zoe here. So I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time saying no. And it's something that me and my boss actually talk about. Hi Andrea, if you're watching, thanks for inspiring this video. We are very kind and generous people and sometimes, for those of you who can relate to being yes people, you get yourself into situations that you don't want to be in, they're uncomfortable, you have more things to do, better things to do, and you just put yourself into an unhappy situation because you have a hard time saying no. So I decided to help you guys and help myself in the process by developing a few different types of phrases to say instead of no. Because the truth is you can't just say no and you don't owe anybody a, a type of excuse or explanation as to why you can't do something or help them with something. But I know that it can be difficult because you always want to help your friends and you always want to be a good person and a yes person. But you can't always be that person so here are a few phrases to help you out. If you feel like you need a bit more time to decide, you can say, I'm sorry, I can't give you an answer for that right now, but can you please get back to me? If it's something that you feel like you might want to do, but not necessarily that day, you can say something like, I would love to, but unfortunately I cannot commit to that today. You can say, oh, sirens. You can always say something like, thank you so much for asking me, but unfortunately I can't. You can also say, I understand you really need me to help you, but unfortunately I can't say yes to that. You can say, I'm going to say no for now, but if I, things change, I'll get back to you. You can also say, my apologies, but I just don't have time for that right now. And lastly, you can say, I can't do that, but here's what I can do. And let them know something that you can do to compensate for not being able to be there or something that might help them out the same way. So these are a few different phrases. I hope that they gave you guys ideas as to say no, but I'd say the most important thing is, is putting a period at the end of the sentences that you say. So if you're going to say something like, I'm sorry, I just can't commit to that right now, period. Okay. You don't need to say anything else after that. And that's the truth. And I know you guys know that. And I know I know that, but that's the problem that I struggle with. So if you have to say no to something, you just need to remember that you don't owe anybody an explanation and finish off your sentences as they are and just keep moving on. If somebody asks you why, if you feel comfortable going into details as to why you can't commit to something, then be truthful about it and go into details, but you don't owe anybody an explanation. In the end, you're taking care of you, yourself. Just make sure that you're healthy and making choices that benefit you. And yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope that it gave you an alternative phrase to saying no, because I know sometimes no can seem a little bit harsh. But yes, if you have any other phrases, be sure to leave them below because we can help each other. Like I said, this is a bit of a struggle of mine. So any advice that you have below, I'd greatly appreciate it as well. And I hope that you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. Bye.